Good morning guys! Today I'm going to show you how to do a repot on my existing orchids. My orchids has been with me for 12 years and as you can see the pot it's starting to it's like a soil it's starting to when you water it it just sticks the water and it's starting to rot so now I remove it from the old pot and we're going to check if there's rot on it and we're going to remove some of the uh, moss like so here we go I now clean it you can see that there's some area that it's not doing very well so I'm going to cut some of the old uh, rotten roots that's been with the plants that's causing this plant to look like it's almost dying so we're going to make it fresh cut some of the roots that's not needed so it will sprout new roots sure that you guys do not overcut the roots and then check it check if there's anything that's rotten or black has black mold now we're going to the sink we're going to wash it to remove some of the residue if there is mold it will be washed off I wash also the leaves wash it thoroughly wash it with a cold water so it will not have the shock so here it is I'm washing the leaves by washing the leaves it also helps to add a little bit moisture because it's been sitting in the corner after washing the leaves and the roots let's put it aside I'm going to get a rug and then we're going to wipe the leaves so they will not cause any more rot so you don't want to leave it with soaking wet so just by wa wiping it it will take out some of the dust too it will make it cleaner looking now i'm going to spray it with a peroxide so it will eliminate if there is some mold still sitting with the roots it will also disinfect the roots you need to spray it thoroughly and prepare it properly I'll arrange it with the pot and add the mulch on it I wasn't going to usually the instructions for the mulch is you're supposed to soak it all night so this the mulch will be um, uh, wet but this time I did not I just want to just add it to the my orchids so this is the first time I'm adding a mulch without having it soaking in the water So after doing the first pot, now I'm going to do with my second pot. I have six pots that I have to um, repot, six orchids that I, it's been with me. Some of them, the longest that I have is 12 years, and the newest that I have is one year. 
so this this one in here this is one of my I think this one is my fourth um, year for this orchids and you can see that uh, it's been holding a lot of water and you can see the difference of when it's holding too much water because the roots is almost yellow and it has black onto it so I'm again I'm trying to clean it and I'll be cutting some of the roots the excess roots that I have again checking if there is mold inside of the main root and so far there's nothing so I will be just cutting some of the excess roots After thoroughly cutting some of the excess roots, you can see that on the bottom or in the middle of this uh, uh, main root, you can see that some of them have a little bit of dark spot. So if this not been taken care of, or if I did not replace it, this roots will rot easily and it will become moldy. So I did the same process. I wash it carefully, wash everything, including the leaves, wash the roots, and then I'll be doing the same thing. Once it's washed, dry it, and we'll spray peroxide.
regular orchids I just have it for a year and you can see I have not repotted this this is this came from the original uh, pot and uh, you you will see that it's a lot of moss not the chip wood uh, kind of uh, mulch that you're going to see everything in here is the green moss same thing I'm going to thoroughly check it remove some of the old leaves that's really starting to decay or become a uh, yellow so it will not absorb any more uh, nutrients from the orchid so if you have anything on the lower part that's not doing well you can cut it off remove it can see the water is when you water the, the orchids basically just sit in there and it's not really draining well so this one has been like two weeks now since the last time I water it and uh, the moss is just soaking wet so I'm washing it again like all the rest of my orchids that I repotted wash it thoroughly After washing the orchids, same thing, I spray it with the peroxide, getting ready to have it replanted in a new pot. particular orchids that I am repotting I've noticed that there's like a, a bubble I'm not sure what it is or it's kind of disease on this orchid but I'm just gonna observe it some of the leaves are cracked open or it's been destroyed the roots are mm, kind of okay so I'm gonna remove some of the rotten ones same thing I'm going to wash it spray it with the peroxide and hopefully it will change and it will go to a healthy orchids
this orchids I've noticed that the rot it's starting to show on the bottom of the main uh, roots so I going to remove some of it some of the old um, vine from flowering it already um, dry but if you can see even though I'm cutting it they say that even though it's brown or yellow the real root it's still the tiny tiny like a fiber this one is just like has a skin on it so now I'm trying to remove all the brown spot and again trimming some of the and needed roots you the green healthy one looks like grayest that's a very healthy roots so now we're going to cut some of it now I still have two orchids that I need to repot I'm not in a hurry for those three because uh, those orchids because they have flowers but I'm done repotting the old uh, soil or the old mulch I now removing all the roots that I cut all the junk that I removed from the orchids it's time to throw them but I decide I don't usually throw the old mulch so I'm trying to dig in and choose the old roots the old moss that i think it's not good for reusing but in this pile of dirt there's still a lot of mulch that you can recycle and reuse again for repotting but never never reuse this without uh, cleaning it first because uh, you never know if there's mold on it or there's bacteria or anything that's lurking in the soil. So after I remove all the old roots, I'm going to put it back in the bag. And then in the summer, I'm going to use three tablespoons of peroxide in a bucket, fill it up with warm water. And then I'm going to let this uh, mold soak in a bucket for 24 hours to remove anything that's contaminant from the old uh, mulch. So you can still reuse this mulch for future use. It's just you need to um, sterilize it, clean it back, remove all the junk, remove all the roots, remove all the mulch or old moss that's been rotten. So you can see I'm trying to uh, mix them all together, sorting it out, things that's not uh, part of it anymore. And then in the summer when it's the warm weather, I'm going to soak them in a bucket of water again with two tablespoons two to three tablespoons it depends how big the soil is or how much you have then you can use the peroxide and let it sit for 24 hours to kill any bacteria any um, worm or anything that's um, 
pesticide or you can use it as a pesticide so there you go so now I'm gonna put it in a bag keep it for the summer and we'll reuse it again thank you for watching my channel well, thank you for watching me repotting my orchids and the longest that i have is a 12 year old orchids and they keep on flower deflowering every year